What is going on, gamers? Welcome back to the Moral Percent Speedrun, the most moral speedrun on YouTube where I try to get a max cape on an iron account without it using alts or interacting with another account in any way, unless it's necessary to do the content. Last episode, we finished the longest, most annoying to me grind in the whole run. We got 99 Slayer, and I'm just so happy about it. I turned all my stuff into money after that and went off and bought the rest of the broad arrowheads I would need for 99 fletching as well. I still have like 7 mil left, so I am doing very well in this episode. Well, I'm starting by talking about Herblore a little bit because with all of the Slayer that I was doing and all of the locking off and not playing that I was doing, <laughs> I did quite a lot of herb runs and got quite a lot of herbs. Uh, right now I am 600k from 96 herb lore, and that's not including the seeds I have or the barbarian mixes that I'm going to make with the caviar that I got from finishing fishing. I am, however, pretty low on volcanic ash. I have like 260 super compost right now, and I'm also doing very badly on herb seeds. I mean, I still have a ton of tofax, and I still have a ton of dwarf weeds and stuff, but the contracts haven't been putting out, and the uh, Slayer grind, you know, I planted as much, as many seeds as I possibly could while I was doing that, and turns out that was most of them. I have a bunch of toad flax, a bunch of dwarf weed. I'm really not sure if I'm going to make up the secondaries I need for those, so we'll see kind of going to give me some trouble. Like, I could get 99 herbivore with just a ton of toad flax, but I wouldn't have enough nests. I have, like, 2,000 nests right now. I've, you know, I've made a bunch of cerebrews already. Um, I've just passed the amount of nests I have with the amount of toad flax that I've harvested, so I'm in the red, but I've still got a long time to do bird runs, you know, while I'm doing uh, hunter and prayer and smithing and stuff like that so plenty of time to catch up and I can always just like do log out bird runs later if I very much need to but I'm also considering maybe I figure out how to get some seeds I don't want to do master farmer that'd be lame and that just means I have to do more contracts so I might do log out contracts I don't know I don't know <laughs> I really don't know don't know where I'm going either uh, what else do I need no I'm done I go to the farming guild but finishing Slayer with the amount of seeds that I did and the amount of herbs that I did has left me in kind of an inconvenient place. I'm hoping that maybe I can get a little bit lucky on uh, farming contracts this next week while I'm planting a few extra toad flaxes, but you know how Jane is. She's, she's kind of awful. Well, I say that and she's giving me stuff I already have, so maybe we're cool. Hey, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Those two contracts got me quite a few, well, a couple of herb runs worth of seeds, which is pretty nice. So maybe, we, maybe we're not so bad off. I do also have like 80 uh, god eggs in the bank, uh, and I didn't bring enough seeds, that's my bad. Yeah, I've got 74 god eggs, which is a little bit of prayer XP, but also each one of those is a bird's nest from the woodcutting guild unless I get unless I get an evil chicken piece of course but it, that's not exactly common so <laughs> so maybe I'm not so bad off you know as long as I keep up on bird runs switch to other seeds when I can when I have them when I get them from contracts it should be okay I've mostly not been thinking about herb lore up until this point or at least farming the stuff other than getting levels but I might have to make a plan. I also still have five brimstone keys that I forgot to open after Slayers, so let's see if we get anything lucky. Redwood seeds, useful I guess. Sharks, not very useful. GP is good, thank you so much. That's still GP. And coal, not great, but could be worse. From here on, the next big goal, other than maxing, of course, is really to try and finish combats. 
which of course means I'm doing Hunter and Fledging for a while, and getting my daily Ecto tokens from Robin so I can throw a bunch of Chinchompas for range and prayer and defense XP. Uh, you can see from the first few chins here, maybe, that I haven't done them in a long while, but it settles eventually around 170k XP when I'm warmed up, plus like 100k fletching XP per hour. Oh, it's pretty great, actually. I'm gonna say it later, but I love chins so much. Yo, 94 Hunter. We're on the way now. Yo, 97 Fletching. Those levels are coming in pretty fast now that I'm uh, doing Hunter. I've been doing it just with my herb runs and bird runs for a long time, and I'm fucking up now that I'm talking, but whatever. 97 Fletching, that's cool. Oh hey, that got me 22, 25 total too. Cool. <laughs> Yo, 95 Hunter already. Oh, it feels good to be getting decent XP again. I keep thinking like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop in a few more chins, you know, I'll get to the next 100 milestone or an XP milestone or whatever, and then I kind of just zone out and 500 chins later, I'm, I'm still doing. <laughs> oh. It's, it's nice to be able to uh, stick to one spot and not have to be, oh, kill 150 of this and 50 of that and 200 of these. <laughs> ah. It's a good game, actually. I think RuneScape's kind of good. I can't wait any longer. I have to do it. I need herb seeds, and I don't think these bird's nests can give you herb seeds, but they can give you spirit seeds, and that's what I need. Because then I can buy some herd pa herb packs from Jane. And they will uh, keep me supplied on some herb runs for a while. Wow, can you believe no evil chicken pieces? It's so sad. I still got six more. I can fletch while I'm running. I'm going to use it. And there we go. 180 offerings total. Wow, 69 bird's nests and not a single spirit seed. I just spent the ones I have and I have one that I got from another seed pack, so... Not doing great on seeds right now, but I have plans for that in a little bit. Now we go back to Hunter. Actually, no we don't. Now we go through some chins. I've stocked back up on the ranging potions with the Wines of Zamorak. I got thanks to the Necreoles that I bursted, or barraged I mean. I've got the uh, Black Dehyde Fit, the Shazian Boots, a little bit of Prayer Bonus. Should be pretty good, I think. This is another one of those, there's no real reason for me to be doing this right now, but I just wanted to get a bunch of levels, or at least a bunch of XP, before I go and deal with the uh, annoying seed situation I'm in. For now though, we just chill, kill some monkeys, and have a nice time. Hey, there's 85 range already, all that, uh mob luring during Slayer. Got me pretty close. Oh, I got 22, 27 total. I've only got 50 left. Yo, 95 defense. 124 combat. Feels pretty good. It's really not that hard to find a world. I don't understand people. Whatever. Oh my god, he's not even doing it in any sort of good way. What a waste of time. Look at that. One world hop. Free world. Kids these days. And there's 86 range already. I'm going to switch to just range XP for a little while. Probably until my range catches up with my defense. Now that I have 95 take that off the uh, off the screen get a little bit faster range xp oh hey i got 87 range that's fun i think for now i'm just gonna go until the bone crusher charges run out i kind of wanted to see how many kills i would get per charge and i'm getting a couple extra depending on if uh rune light is tracking my kills correctly which i don't think it is but decent amount of prayer xp for free so far and uh and spend a few days stocking back up on 
or with the uh, Mortania Diary free bone dust and stuff, so it should be easy peasy. Oh, there we go. We're all out of Bone Crusher charges, so we're gonna get out of here. 600 chins left, those can wait for later. Just happy I got some levels, some good XP. Feels like I'm making progress again. We're moving, you know? Now I'm gonna hang out at the Slayer Tower for a while. Not doing Slayer. Um, my seed situation is very dire, and this is how I'm planning to fix it. I still need 99 defense. I still have 210 wrath runes. I'm hoping that by the time I get through those, I will have a usable amount <laughs> of herb seeds again, which would be very nice. Um, also get a little bit of GP. Sucks to not get the Slayer bonus, but since I'm not doing Slayer, I get to just camp here and not worry about what tasks I'm getting, you know? Considering the other option, wow, I didn't change my spell book uh, every time. But considering the other option is just green dragons in the wilderness, basically, and I would also be doing them off task, it's not really that much of a difference, and this way I get herb XP and prayer XP and the attack XP I need, so it's pretty good, I think. It's kind of the best solution I could come up with, so we're here. Five contracts in a row, Jane heard me complaining about seeds, and I appreciate it. I'm kind of surprised the XP isn't even that bad. 90k attack XP, 40k prayer XP, and I'm getting a bunch of herb seeds and GP. Honestly, kind of glad I came here. I'm almost out of wrath runes, but I'm, I'm thinking this is worth doing, so I'm probably going to make about 500 more wrath runes. Yeah, I think that's a good amount. About 500, and then we'll uh, come back, finish all those off, and be a lot closer to 99 attack. Get a uh, prayer level and a half. Should be good. I think this is gonna... Yeah, 93 prayer, thanks to my friendly off-task neck reels. Kind of annoying. I have run out of wrath runes with 58k attack XP left. I'm gonna make a few more because this is definitely worth it for me to keep doing. I made way more than I need for the last little bit of XP here because I'm thinking I might, given the way my seed situation has been going, I might need to come up here a little bit and train some defense. Maybe, at some point. I'm leaving that for the future. I'm not going to do that now, but... You know, we got a bunch of Wrath Runes, which is a bunch of prayer XP. Hopefully we figure out a way to a way to use them. My supplies are gone. My prayer is almost out, but... If I get a decent hit for once... There is 99 attack. Can you believe it? I'm going to finish off this guy for his ash, and we'll go pick up another cape. It's not the most exciting 99 in the world, but it does feel pretty good to get another one out of the way. Give me that cape, please. Beautiful. More bank space to take up. More bank space that I don't have, because it's full of trash. Okay. The seed situation is looking so much better now. We also got a bunch of prayer XP. 99 attack, of course. 22, 32 total. We are doing pretty good right now, I think. Next up, after some runs, of course, I'm going to go back to, to uh, Hunter for a while. Just so I can pick me up some decent range levels. And get closer to that 99 Hunter as well. For now, though, that's going to be it for this episode. Sorry. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. My channel needs it. I'd really appreciate it, and if you want to support me even more, you can hit join down there, get on, on the members-only Discord, get the occasional early video, maybe even a members-only video, like the hardcore one that I just put up. I'd appreciate that too, like these people have. My all-around cool guy, a number one good fella, Emperor Overlord Sinjin. Thanks for sticking around, buddy. All of my Gwenlin Supremes, Mitaka, Vintage Tops, Scrooge McDuck, Matty O, Stark, and Zilla. 
You're all great. Thank you so much. Every single one of my Gwemlins, I really appreciate all of you and all of my supporters too. If you click join, I appreciate you. It's as simple as that. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye!